This motion picture is an utter, unmitigated disaster. Or is it? Okay, everybody, today we got martial artists, a couple of actors, a beauty queen, and a director that was just doing God knows what. Anyway, we're going all the way back to 1981's Kill and Kill Again, sequel to Kill or Be Killed. But we're hanging out in the sequel for this one, because this one is just whatever. Anyway, before we go any further, before we take this gem apart, before we do what we're going to do, as always, once and again, to the trailer. This little South African gem of a flick was directed by Ivan Hall. We're talking about he does stuff like Funeral for an Assassin, Vengeance Cops, Karate Killer, Gold Squad. Basically, he made a bunch of shit. And you'll see how this all links into this. Ha! Ah. Okay, everybody, just to let you know, when it comes to the cast in this motion picture, you're not going to get a whole lot to go on. You're not going to get a whole bunch of information. It's just the way it is. It's the nature of the beast. This is not one of those motion pictures where we're going to have a really fun time in the cast section. But it's what we do at this part of the video, so away we go. Okay, playing Steve Chase, four-time world martial arts champion, James Ryan. Actually, he was never a martial arts champion. That's a bunch of bullshit they told you in the trailer to make you think you're getting something that you weren't. He was an actor. Just the way it go, folks, but we'll get to that shit later. Anyway, he's been in stuff like Karate Killer and Gemini and Go for the Gold and Falling in Love and Rage to Kill and Space Mutiny and Kill or Be Killed and The Last Hero and even popped up in From Dusk Till Dawn. Dose! So if you look around, He's been out there, been in some shit, is what it was. Let's keep moving. Okay, playing Candy Cane. Gotta love that. And I'm Now, 
Was she in some stuff? But whatever, I mean, she's been in a few things. She was in stuff like Reason to Die and The Tangent Affair and a movie called Somer. But really what she was known for was being Miss World in 1974. And that's really all you needed to get in this flick. Playing the ever-powerful Marduk with the amazing beard. Michael Mayer. That had a career, kind of, sort of. Let's hit it. We're talking about he was in stuff like Gold Squad, Land Apart, The Diamond Mercenaries, Blast! And he was even in that movie Supernova, which is always flying around like, you know, the streaming services and shit. It was like a little TV space movie, whatever the fuck it was. Anyway, he was in that, he was in this. Let's keep this shit going. Playing Hot Dog! Bill Flynn. Actually, he had a pretty decent career in South Africa as an actor and comedian. Let's hit it. We're talking about he was in stuff like House of the Living Dead, in Deadly Jaws, and You Gotta Be Crazy, and Saturday Night at the Palace. Do those ring a bell? Probably not. Let's keep moving. Okay, now we're coming up to an actor who actually you probably maybe have seen before in some shit. The only person I recognize, the only person I say, hey, motherfucker, I know him. Good actor. Is what it was. Playing gorilla, Ken Gampo. <sighs> Let's take it from the top, folks. We're talking about he has been in stuff like King Solomon's Treasure, King Solomon's Mines, and The Gods Must Be Crazy, and the Laser Mission, and Killer Instinct, and American Ninja 4, and the uh, Wild Geese, and Zulu Dawn, and Cyborg Cop. Ooh. So, been around, was in some things, the only person in this motion picture of fucking note when it comes to the acting field. Yes, he's been around. Okay, playing The Fly. Was Stan Schmidt actor? No. But he was a big wheeler in Shotokan Karate. I think he's got like, I don't know, like an eighth Dan belt and that kind of stuff. And he was one of the founders of the IKS. So, Stan Schmidt. Martial artist? Yes. Actor? No. Okay. Playing Gypsy. Norman Robinson. Again. He was in Karate Killer and Gemini, a couple of the fucking flicks. Whatever. It doesn't make a difference. He was a judo black belt, a Shotokan black belt, a real martial artist who once and again wound up in this motion picture. It is what it was. Told you you weren't going to get a whole lot when it came to actors. Told you the class doesn't really mean a whole fucking budget in this. Just what it is. Let's get going to the story. Okay, everybody, once and again, this is the time for the story, and I'm going to keep it short, I'm going to keep it sweet, I'm going to keep it to about 90 seconds or less, and believe me, you can do it with a motion picture like this, so we can get to where we all want to be, which is the magical summation, because that's where this shit's going to take off, that's where we're going to have our most fun, and that's where we all rather be anyway. Da -ha -ha! Anyway, you got Steve Chase. He's an international star in the martial arts field, and he's being given an award at some goddamn little hotel down in Sun City. Remember Sun City? A lot of controversy about that place way back in the day. Anyway, let's keep going. Well, as he's getting his award, he gets attacked by a bunch of thugs, and they're trying to kick the shit out of him. Well, he kicks the shit out of them. We find out that they were really hired by Candy Cane to see if he was good enough to get the job done. And what is the job? To go and look for her father, who is being held captive by the evil and powerful Marduk, who's like this crazy rich guy who decided that he wanted to start up this whole world domination plot by injecting people with this serum. A serum that came from potatoes and that gives you complete mind control over these people. So he's down there, he's making an army, he's gonna take over the world with an evil plot, if you can believe that bullshit or not. And the only way they can stop this from happening is to get in there and rescue the scientist who's being held against his will, Candy Cane's father, and stop this whole plan from taking place. And the only people that they can find on planet Earth to go in there and to do this is Steve Chase and friends. So he assembles a hit squad to go down there and break into Marduk's fortress of power. And to do it, he gets his boys Gypsy, Gorilla, The Fly, and Hot Dog. And, well, Candy Cane kind of forces her way in and, I, and she comes along too. Will they succeed? 
Will they get away with it? Will they save the planet from Marduk and his evil potato serum? Mmm! Wow. Okay, everybody. What makes this movie great? Not a goddamn thing, really. Let's be honest. We'll break down the normal things we get into before we get into the things that kind of make this shit worthwhile. The directing, come on, man. It's pedestrian. It's goofy. It's silly. It is what it is. They speed up scenes so many times. They replay moves over and over again like a Godzilla flip. It is what it was. It's just the way it goes. The writing. Don't look for much there either. It's just enough to get you from place to place. Like if you're into like American Ninja 4 or something like that, and then this will be like, oh yeah, this, the writing in this is fine. But if you're looking for like real writing in a real movie, nah, nah, I wouldn't go there. The acting. There's only really a couple actors in this goddamn thing. You know what I mean? Hot dog. Bill Finn. He does okay. He's funny. Ken Gapu does a good job. He's a real actor. He kind of pulls it off. James Ryan? He does his job. Let's face reality. I mean, he gets by. He does what he's supposed to do. It's a martial arts flick. You're not looking for anybody to actually sit there and deliver a performance to you. But that's not why we're really here. None of that bullshit matters, to be honest. We're only here for two things. Martial arts and stupid entertainment. Period. That's what these kind of motion pictures are, folks. All those ninja flicks we used to love. All those karate kicking movies we used to get into. It's just martial arts and entertainment. We're not looking for a story. This shit is not nearly meant to be as deep as even a Chuck Norris flick. It's just a motion picture to watch martial arts and to be entertained. And that, that is where this movie shines. Is it because the martial arts are fantastic? No. No, they're not no better or no worse than any bullshit you ever seen back in the day. But they knew that. And that's the gift of this motion picture. They gave you a motion picture where they're like, listen, we know these hop chock sock cooey fucking movies are really goddamn lame and stupid, and they're mostly based around stupid plots, and they're really most 90% of the time completely implausible and dumb. And we're going to play that up. And we're going to have a fun time with it. We're going to have a good time with it. And we're going to hit you over the head with it. And we're going to deliver martial arts, entertainment, forget plot, forget seriousness. They knew it when they were making this motion picture. When you watch this motion picture, you're going to sit there and say, who the fuck would put Marduk in that beard? We can see from four blocks away the beard and the mustache are fake. This looks ridiculous. They knew that. It wasn't a mistake. That's one of the things you have to give them credit for. A character like Minerva, who has this evil world leader, is trying to take over the planet with his potato serum, just keeps calling him sugar bear and honey buns and all the other kind of stuff. They knew it was meant to be stupid, and for that they deliver. The acting was ridiculous and hokey, but they knew that, and for that it delivers. Half this thing is like a semi-ripoff of fucking Enter the Dragon, for God's sakes. They knew it, and for that it delivers. This is one of those motion pictures, if you think you're going in to get a real motion picture, you're going to be sorely let down. But if you go in just to watch people crack, chack, chack, wah, wah, and fucking have some entertainment, you're going to be thoroughly entertained. you got some real martial artists in there. you got some real guys that know what they're doing. you got James Ryan, who took like a six or seven month crash course in the martial arts to get up to speed, to be able to pull this shit off. And for that, he does a good job. Let's face reality, folks. Fucking... Uh, Keanu Reeves in The Matrix, he wasn't a martial artist until he did The Matrix. But we all love The Matrix, and it looks good. Same thing with David Carradine and Kung Fu. We all love Kung Fu. He was a dancer. He wasn't a martial artist. We've seen that in so many motion pictures, time and time and time again. But, you get somebody, you train them hard, somebody who's got the right physicality for it, they got the right flexibility for it, and they go in and they pull the movie off and they deliver. And James Ryan, for that, does that in this motion picture. Yeah, he's flexible. Yeah, he can move. Yeah, most of his job is just to stand there with a ridiculous amount of posture. And to look the part. And to go, yeah! Ah! There's 80% of his job. You know what I'm talking about? 
This motion picture gives you the sheer campiness and stupidity that you want. But there was a game I used to play with this motion picture. Only because everybody in the motion picture reminded me of somebody else. And I would say, wouldn't it be fun if they would recast this motion picture with these people? Hear me out. I always used to say to myself, man, imagine if Steve Chase was really played by Joe Lynn Turner from Rainbow. They kind of look the same. They kind of prance the same. Man, that would have been kind of cool. Or if Candy Kane was played by Suzanne Somers, you know, the blonde, the hottie you're supposed to dig, that kind of thing. Hot dog. Oh, come on, man. There's only one way to replace hot dog, and that's Tim fucking Conway. You know what I'm talking about? Gorilla? Yo. Gorilla? One man for the job. Old Tiny Lister. Rest in peace, man. Rest in peace. Tell me now that the fly does not look like Chevy Chase. Come on, dudes. Come on. Like foul play era Chevy Chase? Stan Schmidt? Chevy Chase? They look like the same fucking guy almost. Come on, Gypsy. Gypsy? One word. Wojo Hoets. You see where I'm going with this, right? Right? Yo, Minerva? Yo, remember that chick? She used to be a singer way back in the day. Yes. Don't go. Don't go. Remember all that kind of shit? That. That. Tell me she couldn't have pulled off the role. Tell me she couldn't have pulled off the role. And Marduk, come to me now. Tell me. This could not have been played by Paul Bartel. Tell me, tell me he couldn't have done this. This shit would have been awesome. Whew. All right, all right. I'm back now. I just whew, went off on a tangent. Anyway, this motion picture delivers. It's funny. It's entertaining. The martial arts or whatever. It's all you need to have a good hour and 40 minutes and walk away satisfied. Don't look for more. Okay, everybody, once and again, and as always, be good, help a stranger, take care of a friend, be kind to anybody that you can be kind to. But more than anything, don't ever, ever take any bullshit from anybody. Be good, see you soon, be safe. Take care.